Hey everyone, we're here, here mid-June, getting ready to go out on our first scouting trip, really, of, of the season, and hoping to find, you know, explore some new territory and find maybe a few deer, but really just looking to get out of the house here for a moment, explore some new country, test out some new gear, and, you know, try out a few new things. We're going to get ready for a few back packing hunts later this fall and just wanted to try out a new a few new things in the in our bags to see how they work out. So, we're about to hit the road here. Got a couple hours till we make it to where we're going to unload the the four-wheeler and we'll uh spike out from there. You know, cruise out on the four-wheeler and probably just hike up the hill, camp out up on top, and maybe try a few different areas just over the weekend here. So, excited to see what we find. Well, we made it in the Bronco, where I'm gonna park and leave the Bronco, unload the four-wheeler here, and probably got about a hour drive on the four-wheeler, and then, uh, I don't know for sure, but probably another hour hike to get to where I want to glass tonight and set up camp. But uh, it's quite an adventure coming in the Bronco. I decided to leave the truck home this weekend and give give it a break. But the Bronco's not really made to go on the highway and then you throw on the trailer and, but she did good. She uh, was able to keep up speed pretty good and maintain temperature pretty good. And, and we're here, we made it, so gonna get unloading and start heading up the mountain. got going on here is we're cooking our windows <laughs> just letting the vinyl windows heat up in the sun here makes them a little bit easier to put in they're super tight and this makes them a little bit more pliable and easier to get in so you gonna button button those up on the Bronco before we go keep a bunch of dust from getting in there while I'm gone It'll probably be about two days before I'm back and voila windows are in all buttoned up. Took about five minutes or less. Here we go. Time to head up the trail.
So I've only been walking about 15 minutes trying to get up this steep mountain. I've already spotted my first deer. That's a good sign. When I pulled up, I really liked what I was seeing. I think this could be a place there, there could be some big bucks. So glad to see some deer activity already. Still climbing, about an hour and a half into this and now I'm just in the oak brush hell. It's just a maze of brush, can't see anything. And the hill just keeps going, I'll keep plugging away at it. Still got about two hours before dark so hoping to find a camping spot and if we find any deer along the way then that's awesome. deer rubs on every tree up here. A lot of them are from last fall. So there's got to be bucks. I don't know if they're here right now, but this seems like a place that they like to be when they're rubbing. So liking what I'm seeing, just haven't seen the deer yet. Well, I got my little camp set up here. Uh, just my little one-man tent. And just got it set up right before dark. And cooking up some mountain house for dinner here. We got some spicy Southwest style skillet. Never had that one, but we'll see how it is. I'm sure it's great. But this is home for for the night. Had a only saw two deer today on my way in here. Um, and one of them was right here in camp. So lots of sign, so I think they're in here. Gonna get up, wake up early in the morning and uh, see what I can see. This is one of the new pieces of gear I was excited to try out. Just a new pot. It's from GSI Outdoors. What I like about it is that my fuel, my stove, lighter, everything fits right inside. And then this handle will flip it flip over and we'll lock the lid in place so that's actually saved me some space in my pack and I like it. it has measurements on the side everything makes it really easy to measure out your water so seems to be working good I like it so far through the night it uh, got pretty cold last night colder than I expected it would be 
but I stayed pretty warm in the tent. The, the new blanket worked out great. Headed out this morning and made it to a glassing knob over here and it's pretty quiet. All I, I bumped one small buck on my way over there and that was it. I didn't see anything else on this hill in this basin. I did see you know ten bulls, bull elk, and a few deer way far away but kinda quiet over here. Pretty disappointed in what I'm seeing over here so I'm going to pack up camp um, and hike over a few ridges here just see what I can see and then I'll probably head back down to the four-wheeler and cruise up um, head, head south and, and gain a little bit of elevation and see what the snows looking like up there so beautiful day not a cloud in the sky it's getting warm quick um, so should be a good day this is my new puffy blanket and it's from get out gear just got it on Amazon super lightweight um, 650 fill down but it did the trick last night really kept me warm um, because this this summer sleeping bag just doesn't cut it and I imagine we were in the 30s probably mid 30s there was frost this morning and this summer bag it it's really only comfortable down to 50 degrees 45 degrees so the addition of this little quilt puffy quilt here it it did the trick they both packed down super small and super light um, so that was my solution to being able to get out with this summer bag even at the high elevations here when it's when it's still pretty cold in, in June and July anyways worked out pretty nice last night Well, I packed up camp and headed over two drainages and so I'm looking at my second drainage here it's getting a bit late in the day so I'm sure everything's bedded by now but in the last drainage I just saw two does that was it so I brought a few cameras with me in my bag but I don't think I'm gonna hang them over here just didn't see enough to entice me to want to leave one here so I th I think there's deer here later in the fall they don't seem to be here now I don't I'm not seeing much water so I'm gonna cruise down this ridge get back to the four-wheeler and then do some exploring on the four-wheeler and see if I can get to a good spot to, to glass tonight There she is, I see her. There's the four-wheeler. Can't get there quick enough. Been out of water for the last couple miles. It is hot today. It was hot yesterday. But I had three and a half liters of water with me and it's gone only been I don't know 15 hours or so and I'm thirsty luckily I got a bunch of water at the four-wheeler so I'm gonna eat a, or drink a whole bunch of that and then find a spring along the way and fill up all my bladders and bottles so I have enough to make it through tomorrow
Well, it's been a long day. I brought the four-wheeler about 40 miles south and set up another camp again and set up a trail camera. I'm more familiar with this area and just been watching tons of elk all day long. Finally just spotted my first group of bucks and there's a couple look to be you know four points and a few other smaller bucks but first first mature bucks I've seen excited to finally see a few It's the morning of day two, or the second morning, and had a good night last night. It's it's funny because I'm 2,000 feet higher than I was the first night, and it was much warmer here than it was that first night. It was just unusually cold that first night, but slept really good last night. Woke up this morning and uh, was able to glass a bunch of different basins and finally started seeing all kinds of deer uh, lots of bucks way way more bucks way more deer than I was expecting to see this early in June so that's great um, a few that looked like they were gonna turn into nice bucks nice four points so that's exciting uh, anyways, the plan for today is to get some breakfast here, then uh, get situated on another camera and hike, hike that next camera out, get it all set up, then uh, pack up camp and head home. I uh, got about oh, a long drive on the four-wheeler to get back to the Bronco, so hopefully she makes it. What's up guys, we just made it back to the Bronco, and we made it. Uh, Four-wheeler did great, it's about 40 miles, and we just cruised, we made it all the way back. Everything looks like it was okay here at the Bronco, so I was a little worried about that, but now we're going to head back home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, if so, let us know, like, subscribe, leave a comment and we'll do some more videos like this We have a few more scouting adventures planned for this year as we get ready for a bunch of hunts this fall so let us know what you want to see hopefully you like this and I appreciate you following along thanks <laughs>